So I guess one of the things that's very important then is that we need to be able to calculate acid strength. And if we're going to calculate acid strength, then we need to know to what degree the acid, when it's added to water, is going to form the hydronium ions through the donation of a proton to a water molecule and the anion. So, if this is regarded as an equilibrium, then we know that because our general equation for equilibrium is the concentration of the products of the concentration of the reactants, if this section over here, the product section is high, then we're going to have a high K value. And that's going to mean we're going to have a strong acid solution. If on the other hand, we have a solution which does uh, an acid which does not readily ionize, then we have a lot uh, or a higher number over here on the reactant side. It's what's high and our product side or our ionizing side is low. Therefore, the K value is going to be low. And this is an indication of a weak acid. Notice these definitions are not related to how much water we have, only the degree to which the ion is prepared to donate a proton and form the ions in solution. We can actually calculate this in a mathematical way with a particular type of equilibrium constant known as Ka, the acid dissociation constant. And that's something that we're going to, or acid ionization constant. And that's something that we're going to be looking at in a future video. Thanks for watching.